is quite an impressive unit. My colleagues in the training team have uh, been making use of uh, virtual reality. Welcome to the UK series. Hello and welcome to part of our UK series. My name is Mario Dodic. I am the founder of HVAC Education Hub, where we talk about heat pumps and heat pump trainer. Uh, today, my guest is uh, Ross from Mitsubishi Electric, uh, installer, technical and sales uh, support. Hi, Ross. Nice to have you here. Hi there. Uh, so, Ross, can you tell us something about uh, Mitsubishi Equidan product? Uh, I can see that the product is made in Britain, so you are producing it here. And what is the, the main advantage of, of, this, of this product? Yeah, um, so we make it in our factory in Livingston in Scotland. Um, so we've got well over a thousand people employed there that are making these equipment, not just for the UK market, but also for uh, mainland Europe as well. Um, this particular model that we're standing in front of just now is available in sizes from 5 all the way up to 12 kilowatts um, nameplate capacity. Um, although it says 12 kilowatts, even at minus 5, it's actually kicking out 13 ki kilowatts, so it's quite an impressive unit, especially for its physical size. A lot of units that are that size are physically a lot taller, but ours is quite compact, so I would say that that's, that's a leading position in, in the market. You mentioned this uh, compact design, which is very important for uh, modulation. You talk a lot about uh, also modulation capacities, minimum modulation, because people they, they need to understand that for cold winter we are more or less safe, but in part load we need we need this modulation. Uh, how is Mitsubishi covering this, both from technical perspective and from data in the manuals? Because you have a lot of data in your manuals. Yeah. So there are several aspects to it. The first one is the compressor. Um, our compressors are extremely high quality. They're well known in the market for being very reliable. Um, and as well as having high capacity um, in cold weather, they have the ability to modulate right the way down. So when it's a little bit warmer, they'll be able to not use full power. Um, so even the, the um, larger units can modulate down to less than a couple of kilowatts, um, which is probably more than, more than adequate because once it drops below that, people aren't really heating their homes anymore. It's, it's warm enough. Uh, you are uh, in daily contact with installers. Uh, we are also doing a lot of educational content, writing videos. Uh, we are launching some new educational platform. You have also some trainings. How can you see the role of this education, peer-to-peer -peer learning? And what is the, the status of installers, of engineers? Because they need to be uh, very well known in product itself, in heating design, in engineering. How you find this and what is your perspective on this whole educational thing in our industry? So um, Mitsubishi have got a range of official courses um, which give installers the confidence to start off with the product. But we've also got myself and my colleagues in the installer team who will go out onto site and help customers with their first couple of installations, um, help them commission and help them tweak the settings and get the best out of the equipment so that the consumers get a really good experience from as soon as the equipment's turned on. Another important aspect about it is about encouraging people to join the industry. Um, my colleagues in the training team have uh, been making use of uh, virtual reality to try and engage with uh, people who are just at the start of their journey. Um, and it's very much like learn whilst you play. Uh, thank you, thank you for uh, this uh, short talk. Uh, thank you everyone for watching this and check our other videos from the UK series. See you.